Okay, so this is where we left off in the last session. Okay. Um, so what I'm going to do now is uh, start to add a bit of anticipation and follow through into this. So let's just go into the animation. I'm just going to go a couple of frames after the first frame. I'm going to go on frame four on this. It's going to go in and uh, go into the character rig. I'm just going to set a keyframe for this. And let's just go into auto key. Okay. So uh, remember with anticipation, what we want to do is uh, we want to kind of show the character getting ready or preparing the body to do the next step. So we're going to start the characters twisting round this way. It's going up in the air. So on our anticipation pose, we want to do the reverse of this. So um, first thing I'm going to do is grab controller here. Let's just start shifting this character down. Okay. What I'm going to do with this actually is uh, take this controller, take the two okay handles, and pull the whole thing down. Okay. I'm also going to go into just the hips a little bit. Um, I'm just going to set this to local for a second. Bring those hips back round it. Tad. I'm going to grab the spine controls. Do just kind of bring those uh, twisting the other way and also bring those forward a little bit. Let me just grab these hips and just pull those back a bit more. Bring the head down. So just twisting around the other way, uh, just to give us a little bit of thought process before we go forward. Okay. Uh, again, let's just grab this. Let's do preview. So it's a subtle thing. Okay. We've just got this little bit of a thought beforehand, a little bit of anticipation of the body as the body prepares to do this large movement forwards. We just twist back a little bit the other way. Uh, we just twist the spine in the opposite direction to give us a bit of uh, contrast in the poses. And it just gives that little bit of anticipation, a little bit of a hold before it starts coming forward. Okay. Um, so we can do the same with the follow through. Let's just grab this character rig again. So when it comes down on this pose, I'm just going to go a couple of frames forward and maybe a bit faster on this. Um, let's just go onto frame 15. Uh, again, I'm just going to, I've got my character rig, I'm just going to do a keyframe on all of this. What I want to do is just bring the hips forward and down. Just 
just uh, open my camera a bit here. Uh, did I didn't actually have an auto key clicked on there, sorry. Um, click on that. Two frames after, let's just pull this down. Um, because I'm using the I key here, this is useful because I want it as if uh, the character has hit something solid here. So the hand pretty much is staying in the same place, the body's moving against it. Give it a bit of a springiness to it. I'm going to grab the uh, spine. Let's control click these. I'm just going to carry moving this forward. Okay, I'm moving the head. I'm actually going to have the head going even further forward. Okay, so it's hitting, impacting, the body's reacting to the hit. Uh, what I can do also is uh, I'm just going to grab this character rig. Grab this key here on the hit. And I'm just going to drag this... Um, Okay, just down to my case frame 21 here. Just to let that settle back. Okay. Uh, again, let's just go into this and do a preview. So I've got this little bit of follow through now. I've got the body springing down, just adding a bit more to that weight. Okay. Uh, we could carry on doing that, could carry on moving forward, but um, what I'll do is just leave it there. I just may actually on this last frame on here uh, just bring the arm up just a little bit just bring a bit more a bit more relaxed okay um, so that's just a bit of anticipation in there couple of frames in, depending how long you want the anticipation to happen, um, how extreme we want that to be. You could push that even more and have him twisting it even more backwards. It's looking what this does. What I may do with the hand, um, just on this frame where it's coming down. Don't like that actually. I'm just going to bring this, bring this up. Is really um, just watching this line here, and then when we're coming down, go much bigger sweep. In fact, on this, let's just pull this forward a little bit as well. Still got the arm or the hand dragging back on this. Okay. 
Um, so I'll leave this here. What I am going to do is just fix the camera in place for this. Um, let's just come off frame in here. Okay, I'm just going to go to views. Create camera from view and just have a fixed camera there. Let's just take one more preview from this. Uh, still must have it open. Uh, let's just get to this. Mm -hmm. There we go. Uh, let's close this down if you get that error. Um, create preview. It just means that it's open already if you cannot actually create it. Just one last look at this. Um, just looking at this shoulder. Uh, let's just have a look at this. It's so sort of key. This I just. Mm, okay. Maybe just raise that shoulder up a bit. Just didn't like the line down there. Uh, and there we go. Um, so I'll continue and we'll start looking at actually smoothing this and some of the issues with that in the next session.